The father of Kyron Horman admits really doesn't get any easier. This week marks five years since the little boy disappeared. He's never been found. But Kane Horman isn't giving up hope. KGW's Kylie Boshi has been covering this story from day one, and I know you spoke with Kane Horman again today. Well, Tracy, five years may be significant on the calendar, but for Kane Horman, it's just another day, another week, another year that his son is still missing. He desperately wants to find Kyron and firmly believes he's still out there, maybe with someone. And that day you were walking down this exact way. Yeah, just right here. The bus just stops right there on the street. On June 4th, 2010, Kane Horman waited for his son to get off the school bus. But Kyron never made it, and he's been missing ever since. The second grader was last seen at Skyline School. Kane believes Terry Horman is responsible for her stepson's disappearance, and he fears others may also be involved. Somebody else is involved with his disappearance, and we need investigators to continue to focus on other avenues that might reveal who those person or persons are. Police have taken in more than 4,000 tips and conducted countless searches, but so far nothing. That lack of evidence actually gives Kane hope. And so you have to believe the more that those searches turn up nothing, the more likely he's got to be out there somewhere. Kane still lives in the same home with his daughter. He says Kyron is an important part of their lives. His ex-wife, Terry, has not been charged. She's been living with her parents in Roseburg and has no contact with Kane or their daughter. Back to you. Thank you, Kyle. Kyron's family is planning a candlelight vigil and balloon release Thursday night to mark the fifth anniversary of his disappearance. It begins at 6.30 at the Wall of Hope. The wall's permanent location is at the Extreme Edge Gym on Twin Oaks Drive in Beaverton.